Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're installing the sunshade for our gazebo. If you'd like to see how the gazebo is installed as well, check the video description on that. But this makes it really nice for when the sun is coming down and it's really hot. So this is one that just bolts up to the side of the gazebo and then it rolls down. And so it comes in a pretty big box like this, and we're just going to go ahead and mount it. So this is the hardware that's included with the kit. And so you're going to have this side that actually rolls it up. And then it's going to go onto this side that has that little notch in it. As for the other side of the bracket, as you can see, it has a little hole in the side. And this peg will then just fit into it. And what's really nice is uh, there is enough room on the bracket itself, the way it's designed for it, to slide back and forth. Uh, so all we really need is, uh, I just used this little impact gun with a Phillips head screw. It did come with mounting hardware, but I opted for some more self-tapper, bigger ones. And of course, make sure you have your safety glasses. So basically, we're just going to mount one side of it here. And... Um, as you can see, it can slide back and forth. So just measure it out with a measuring tape to get the overall length. And then they say to basically install it half an inch uh, too short is what they had said. So basically we mounted one side, we got it to this point where we had a little bit of give in each direction, and then we went ahead and uh, mounted it in. Uh, so once we put these screws in, as you can see, we could still move it kind of side to side as needed and uh, got this side mounted up and we put this side in firm and we left this one adjustable. So now as you can see, we just simply put the roll into it and as you can see, it's bowing out just slightly so we have it a little too tight. So we just loosen the screws until it was good. Next, we have the anchor here. So this is to hold the bottom part down. So all we did was uh, screw these in about an inch or two off the ground. That way we can still fit the ball end in. And so once we have these tightened down, it uh, loops right in and that helps hold it to uh, secure in the wind. So uh, now all we had to do was lower it and it actually lowers and raises pretty quickly. I was a little skeptical on that part, but it turned out really well. It's blocking the sun and uh, making a really nice environment for us to have with the shade. So anyway, thanks for watching. Check the video description where I'll put more videos like this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.